Hi Sunrise family, Sunrise kids, this is Mrs. Murray and I'm getting so excited because tomorrow we're going to celebrate Independence Day, July 4th. And I just am so excited about um, the picnic that we're going to have right after the service and just to celebrate each other being back together again after the COVID. And, and I just want to share with you a, um, a quick skit. It's uh, by Jeb. It was uh, done in the 1700s <clears throat> and his son, Luke. So it starts off with, let me get it going. Well, son, it's the 4th of July. Do you know what this means? Luke, it's time for you to brag about how you fought with George Washington at Valley Forge. I'll never forget the time I was fighting for General Washington at Valley Forge. Yep, here it comes. It was the dead of winter and the river was covered with ice. Well, what did you have on your feet, Dad? I wasn't wearing nothing on my feet, but a few old rags tied to keep off the frostbite. How many toes did you lose? I still lost three toes off my right foot from the very bitter cold. Luke, three? Gee, last couple of years it was two. I don't think he's taking this very seriously. It was cold and miserable, and as we rode across the frigid waters... But we, we, as we rode across rivers, we did it. Anyway, you know why? Because freedom isn't free. Freedom isn't free. You had to fight for it. You have to fight for it, son. You have to fight with everything you've got. Every year, folks, every year, freedom always comes at a price. But if you fight hard enough, you can be free of anything. Anything, Dad? Anything. What about sin? What was that? What about sin? Can you fight for freedom against sin? Sin? Why are we talking about sin? You just said if you fight for it, you can be free of anything. So what about sin? Jeb tells his son, you know as well as I do, there's nothing you or I can do to fight sin. We're sinful critters and even just one sin, just one, is enough to separate us from God forever. So how can we win our freedom against sin? We don't. Not on our own. But you know the answer, don't you? As surely as I know that you're the guy with the flute and the picture of three soldiers marching in the band. As surely as I was that guy playing the flute in George Washington's band. The one from that famous painting, I know that battle against sin has already been won. Jesus fought it for me. He gave his life for all of us on that cross. And if we only pledge of our allegiance to him, we can claim that victory on our own, for us own. Just as General Washington claimed victory over the Brits. That's a great story, Dad. And it's always great to remember that our battle against sin has been fought and won. Yes, it is indeed, son. Jesus claimed that victory for us. He set us free. We will be truly free. America celebrates their freedom every summer with a big bang. Christians celebrate their freedom every day. The Bible is the ultimate declaration of independence. It declares that we're free from sin and that, that from sin that separated us from God and eternal life with him. When we read the Bible, we're reading the words that are right and true. Those words point us to Jesus, the only one who can forgive us and set us free. Our sweet Hannah is going to tell a story about sin and a dirty paintbrush and how we can be free from sin. And you know who the answer is, and that's our Jesus. So have a great day tomorrow. I hope I see you at church because we have the big picnic. And I love you and um, have a great week. Bye-bye. How many of you like painting? Have your mom or dad let you help with painting around the house yet? If you haven't gotten there, you probably will soon. What kind of tools do you need if you're going to paint a room? You're going to need a good brush if you're going to paint, right? Well, let me ask you this. How many of you would like to paint with a brush like this? If I handed you this brush and asked you to go paint that wall over there, what would you say? It's kind of hard to paint with a dirty paintbrush like this, isn't it? The brush is coated in paint that's dried and hardened. It won't soak up new paint, and it won't spread paint on the wall. Most likely, if you try to use a brush like this, you'd end up with an ugly wall with dried bits of different colored paint in it, 
it wouldn't be very pretty. This sturdy brush reminds me of what sin does to our lives. The more we fall into sin, the more we are covered by it. And just like dried paint, sin can get hard and keep good things from penetrating into our lives. What's more is, we're completely useless to the Lord if we're covered in sin. And God can't use us any more than we can use a sturdy paintbrush. Any work we'll do will be stained with our sin. But the good news is that even a brush like this can be cleaned. With the right amount of solvent and lots of water, you can clean that brush as good as new. God can wash us clean and make us new as well. He can break through the hard layers of our sin and wash us clean. Only then can He use us to reach others with the same love that washed our sins away.